let us come back and learn the next set of reactions of a btc now uh, i hope you have seen in the previous videos also first this is your basic conversion everywhere so you hope if you have understood the, this uh, if you have gone with the sequence yeah, this will be clear now i'll erase this whole thing because i need btc for converting it into different compounds now we have already studied BDC. I try to prefer prepare with Sand Sandmeyer's reactions and Gatterman reaction. What did I prepare with Sandmeyer's? I could prepare your chlorobenzene, right? With Sandmeyer's reaction, bromobenzene. With Sandmeyer's reaction, cyanobenzene. After that, I also try to prepare with Gatterman the same thing, chloro and bromo. But did we prepare iodobenzene and uh, in halogens? Fluoro is not prepared. Chloro is prepared, bromo is prepared, iodo is not prepared. So we are left with two more halogens that is preparation of iodo benzene and fluoro benzene. We have not done this. Then let's see how can I prepare from BDC. Now, one important thing, one more I'm going to show you. What happens when I treat CuCN in the presence of HCN? How can I use that? Let's see. Now, the same BDC which I have got from the earlier reaction into Cl. Suppose if I have in the exam, if they are going, to, if they give you, or they ask you to prepare iodobenzene, right? And the reagent which you are going to use is potassium iodide. You can use Ki for this. Now, this is one uh, I, uh, potassium iodide which has got our iodine as a nucleophile. This is going to attack this. So, when you are heating BDC with KCl, as so Ki, the first important thing heating. When you are heating, your nitrogen gas escapes out N2. Your Cl is replaced with iodine. Done. So, you have got iodobenzene. What else is left out? You have KCl coming out. So, this is how you are going to prepare iodobenzene. Done. Simple. After this, now let me prepare fluorobenzene. For flu preparing fluorobenzene, you will not use uh, um, HF or something. No, wrong. You are going to here use a compound called HBF4. Very important. So, this HBF4 is going to carry this fluorine to BDC. How does this do? Whenever you are adding HBF4 to this, first important thing, your HCl comes out. Because I have to replace with fluorine, isn't it? So, minus HCl. Let us write the product first. Yes, you have N2BF4 minus if you are further heating it. When you are further heating it, immediately the nitrogen gas which is there escapes out. Plus, your BF4 is going to dissociate into two ions. One is F minus, and next one is FBF3. This F minus still existing there, fluorobenzene plus your boron trifluoride is out. 1, 2, 3. This is how you are going to prepare fluorobenzene. So, this is your iodobenzene, this is your fluorobenzene. Simple, isn't it? I have prepared from BDC using both reagents. Now, I am done with this. Let us erase this. I am done with the second one. Let us erase this. Now I have to use this copper CuCN, copper cyanide, prince of HCN. In the exam, basically, when you when they give you cop CuCN and HCN, that means it is Sandmeyer's reaction to prepare. So in Sandmeyer's, you prepared your cyanobenzene done. So further cyanobenzene, if I have to further convert it, how is the question given? Convert, convert BDC. To uh, okay, uh, RCOH, okay, or convert BDC to primary amine. Okay, this is a big confusion, right? How should I do this? Simple thing. Both those both the questions, I can reason it or answer it like this. See, you want to take BDC, introduce CuCN by KCN. Done. Now this is your nucleophile CN. As soon as you heat it with this, nitrogen gas escapes out. Chlorine comes out with copper chloride. This comes out as copper chloride. The leftover is Cn, which is attacking. So, I am going to get Cn. Now, what should I prepare? I have to prepare carboxylic acid of this. Simple. 
this is your cyanobenzene whenever cyanobenzene is treated with ethanol okay what is ethanol basically this ethanol is going to supply <coughs> oh minus for us okay so this particular ethanol just place ethanol here done that means you are trying to replace that or it's going to release that OH minus. But in the process, yeah, you can also do other than this, you can also take hydrolysis of cyano group. So, what procedure I'm going to do? I'm going to use hydrolysis of cyano. When it is trying to hydrolyze this, observe. Now, this is your oxygen, this is your hydrogen, isn't it? Now to this, this cyano group, these two are going to attack. How are they going to attack? Your oxygen is going to attack with the carbon. Your H2 are going to attack with this. How does this look? Oxygen first. Take this, convert cyano into CO and H2 with your NH2. This is called amide now, benzamide. Now still acid is not prepared. Further, I am hydrolyzing it. Your NH2 comes out as NH3, ammonia. And the leftover OH goes in attacks this. Now you have got your acid C. Okay, carboxylic acid, no? Benzoic acid. Because we have taken benzene ring. So have I not prepared from BDC benzoic acid? What is the procedure? First try to convert. Now I, earlier I said... First, you are going to, you will take in the earlier, uh, this one, I said a nitro is converted to amino, okay, R in, uh, R nitro, R amino, after that, the series of steps, you are getting RCN, correct, this is what I said, now same amino, if I treat it with uh, NaNO2 or HCl, which I said already, you are going to get BDC, done, simple, now this BDC, I said, Further, if you treat with CUCN and KCN, what do you get? You get RCN. Here also RCN, here also RCN. Now this sign of group further, when you are treating with your ethanol or hydrolysis also, you can do hydrolysis also, you will finally get a compound called acid. My, still, my work is still not done. I asked you one more conversion. What was the conversion? Conversion of BDC to your amine. How should I do that? Simple. Take this BDC. Okay. Same thing. <coughs> yeah. Convert it into cyano. Done. So simple. I will take the same thing here. So I will repeat the reaction uh, here so that it is not confusing. First, I am going to take... BDC into Cl. I am going to introduce CuCn by HCn. Okay, HCn. Does it write KCl? Okay, HCn. No problem. Yes. This will replace. You get minus N2 CuCl and you get cyano group. Now to this cyano group, I am going to introduce reducing agents. Reducing agents like SN plus HCl, metal acid. You can use reducing agents, isn't it? Lithium aluminium hydride. Okay, I'll use lithium aluminium hydride. This is a reducing agent which is going to add hydrogens across the cyano group. One hydrogen. Okay, I said hydrogens. Let us see how many hydrogens. Here one hydrogen, here one hydrogen. But I want benzyl amine, no? So what am I going to do? I'm going to take two. That means I am adding hydrogen and hydrogen like this. So two hydrogens will add here. Two hydrogens will add here. How does this look? This compound becomes CH2. The bond between these two breaks in NH2. This is called benzyl amine. Right, so simple. Let us come back and see many reactions. First, if you want to prepare iodobenzene, this is the reagent. Fluorobenzene, this is the reagent. If you have to convert BDC to acid, or if you want to convert BDC to benzylamine, this is the step. This is the first step, this is the second step.